this device. I have the power to control the world. <laughs> but where does that power come from? Well, to answer that question, I'd like to welcome you to the past. Well, at least the past couple of hundred years. Um, because for the past 200 years, we have been generating our electricity using mainly fossil fuels, coal, oil and gas. And all you do for that is you burn, in this case, a lot of oil, and that heats up a reservoir of water, turning it into steam. The steam then drives the blades of a turbine round, and if you connect that to a generator, you get electricity. I can give you a wee example of how that works using this model here. So this is actually a steam engine. And uh, inside the base of this, I have uh, produced a, um, I am burning fuel, basically, I'm burning fuel. And there's a tank of water here, and that should drive this piston back and forth, which ultimately creates circular motion. And again, like I said, if you connected this to a generator, you would generate electricity. If I remove that fuel source, we're finding out, then the car stops. There's me burning my fossil fuels and contributing to global warming. Okay, I'd now like to welcome you all to the present day. Uh, so in the present, increasingly, we are generating our electricity using nuclear power. And nuclear power, as you expect, um, is based around getting energy from the nucleus of an atom. Um, if I'm able to split this uranium-238 nucleus, uh, I can generate an awful lot of energy. So... Okay, I can't split this. And the problem here is that this nucleus is far too stable, right? It doesn't want to split. So I have to, I have to encourage it to do so. And I do that by forcing it to absorb one of these. This is a neutron. Uh, now you have to uh, put that neutron in with quite a lot of energy. But eventually, you should find that when the neutron gets absorbed, there it is, the nucleus will become unstable. And to try and stabilise itself, it will split. And when it does so, it splits and produces an awful lot of energy, right? about a million times more energy than you would get for the same amount uh, of fossil fuel. Um, mm. Delicious energy. Um, this also produces these two smaller nuclei, which are called daughter products. These are highly radioactive. I think I'll be okay. Um, so this would be radioactive waste. As well as energy and radioactive waste, they also produce these. Now you might think those are apple seeds, but you'd be wrong. Um, these are actually neutrons. And these neutrons, just like the first neutron, can go on to split more nuclei in what we call a chain reaction. Now if you control this chain reaction, then you're able to generate nuclear power, which is good. If you don't control it like this, you create a nuclear bomb, which is not so good. If I slow this down, you can see your neutron coming in. That makes this nucleus unstable and causes it to split, also releasing two or three more neutrons, which split more nuclei. And you get the picture. Okay, so nuclear fission is the splitting of a big nucleus into smaller nuclei. Wouldn't it be great, though, if we could have an energy source that was as efficient, as good as at producing energy as fission, but without all the sort of nasty radioactive stuff left over? 
I would like to welcome you to the future and nuclear fusion. So fission is the splitting of a large nucleus into two smaller nuclei. Fusion is the opposite. It is when two smaller nuclei are combined into, into one nucleus, like this. Um, the great thing about this is it produces an awful lot of energy, actually more than nuclear fission per kilogram, um, and you don't have any radioactive waste left over. The problem is, is for us human beings, the amount of energy needed to combine these two is, is more than we get out at the end. So we can't make it commercially viable. However, it does happen in the core of the sun. That's how the sun makes all of its energy, its heat and its light, by nuclear fusion. Producing an awful lot of this delicious energy by combining two hydrogen nuclei into a helium nucleus. So I guess the biggest danger I'd have eating this would be that my voice goes all sort of high and squeaky. So I know that you would have enjoyed that video, but don't worry, I'm not going to go fission for compliments. <laughs>